CDC guidelines for influenza testing and treatment are essentially unchanged from recommendations prior to the pandemic. Clinical signs and symptoms of influenza are similar to other respiratory infectious agents, which can make diagnosing influenza difficult. A quick and accurate influenza diagnosis is important for clinical decision making in both the outpatient and inpatient settings. Testing can help guide antiviral treatment, facilitate implementation of infection control and prevention, and guide other clinical decisions. Diagnostic test types available for detecting influenza vi virus include antigen detection tests and nucleic acid detection tests or molecular assays. Antigen detection tests such as rapid influenza diagnostic tests work by detecting the parts of the virus that stimulate an immune response. Nucleic acid detection tests or molecular assays work by detecting genetic material of the virus and are more accurate than rapid antigen tests. There are molecular assays available that can detect both influenza virus and SARS-CoV-2. For more information about our influenza testing, visit Elsevier's Influenza Hub. For those with confirmed or suspected influenza, antiviral medications are available to help reduce symptoms and prevent complications. Treatment is most effective if given within 48 hours after symptom onset. The age of the patient, risk factors, and the clinical setting all affect the choice of which antiviral medication to use. Antiviral medications may also be used for post-exposure prophylaxis in persons considered high risk. Oral antiviral medications are available to treat influenza and for post-exposure prophylaxis. Inhaled and parenteral antivirals are also available. Other oral antiviral drugs only used for influenza virus A infections are not generally recommended due to viral resistance. Influenza testing and antiviral medications serve as essential adjuncts to vaccination. They can play an important role in the management of influenza. Mm -hmm.